Now that you've installed both Zotero Standalone and the connector extension in your browser, it's time to start capturing references from the web. Let's use this record from our library catalog as an example. Notice how the Zotero connector icon has now changed into a book. This means Zotero has recognized that you're looking at a book and will treat it as such when you import it into the program. Clicking the connector will import this book's record into your Zotero library and display a message saying so. You can choose the destination folder, or collection as it's called in Zotero, from the drop-down menu which appears. The default destination will be the most recently selected collection. And here it is! You can see all the citation information, or metadata, on the right pane. This can be edited at any time by clicking on the fields you'd like to modify. You can also import entire pages of search results from most databases and catalogs straight out of the results page. Notice how when we're on this WorldCat results page, the Zotero connector icon has become a folder. Click on the connector to see a checklist of your results. Select those you'd like to send to Zotero, and then click OK. And check it out! There they are! Try using this technique from the results page of your favorite databases. Zotero also works well with sources from the web, and does a pretty good job of discerning what type of document you're looking at. It can tell that we're looking at a newspaper article while we're viewing this New York Times piece, for example. The program does its best to gather the right information, but it often needs to be corrected. Make a habit of checking to ensure that the information is correct once you've captured a source and making the appropriate edits. This will be important for generating accurate citations and bibliographies. You can also manually create references in Zotero. To do this, click the green plus icon, select a reference type, and fill out the fields with as much information as necessary. You can also add an item using an identifier, such as an ISBN or DOI. To do so, click the magic wand icon and input the identifier number. Check it out! There it is! The next video will teach you all about how Zotero handles PDFs and other file attachments.